we are soaking a little bit of coconut coir today this morning and uh, we was just talking about this a little bit we have about a gallon of water here and we have added about well this is going to be for vegetative state plants we brought a little bit of this product home from the indo expo it's a, a beneficial bacteria specifically made for the vegetative state uh, unlocks and fixes nitrogen and we got the pure blend pro grow and so that'll have a lot of nitrogen also we threw about 10 milliliters of that into our water one gallon of water one brick of coconut coir and we also threw about 10 milliliters of this uh, vitamino this is botanic cares b1 product uh, i like b1 in every drop of water start to finish it's a general health tonic for the plants it uh drive cell division which is plant growth and so uh, excellent additive we're going to let that soak up for about 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, we're going to try to squeeze a shot glass of water out that we already tested the tds and the um, the ph of the stuff going in it's about 720 parts per million which is great for uh, vegetative state plants under strong fluorescent lights or weak HID lights that are older than 14 days past the seedling or clone stage. Um, the pH is okay. We're going to lower that just a little bit though. But what we're really interested in is the specs out. Once we have a chance to soak up all that water, we're going to try to squeeze a shot glass out and we're going to run our tests again. We're going to do the pH, we're going to do the TDS, and we're going to see exactly how the coconut coir is interacting with our nutrients. All right. So we're back. We've had about 20 or 30 minutes for this to soak up some water here. And we're just squeezing out a little sample. Squeezing out a little sample to test. We need about one shot glass of clean water in order to get a uh, TDS reading and a pH reading. I think we just about got it. I think we just about got it. Let's see if I can take this off the top without messing this up here. All right. So we've got a sample that will probably work. Let's see what we got. And for the TDS, oh, you see that little times 10 flashing right there. So that's actually 3,420 parts per million. All right. So we got our specs out. 3,000. 337. Alright. Yeah, 3370 oh, parts per million. Now let's see where we ended up on the pH here. We only need about 10 milliliters to do the pH test. So we're going to dump most of that out. That's pretty close. And we got five drops of pH indicator. Swirl that around. It's going to be a little difficult to get an accurate reading because of the color of the nutrients themselves. Hmm. It's going to be very difficult to get a reading with the pH test drops. So, maybe look up some information online. See if uh, coconut coir usually needs adjustment. We could use a digital meter. But I don't think the pH test drops are going to work for this. All right. Maybe we'll get an update in a little bit here. So we're going to go about this a slightly different way here. We've got a little sample of water draining out into this shot glass from this uh, coffee filter. And we're going to drop the pH drops directly into that shot glass. 
And as we drop the drops into the shot glass, we're going to see what color it turns. And that's going to give us our best indication of the pH of this particular solution. So let's see what we got here. Oh, orange, orange, orange. So let's check this out here. Looks like we got 4.0. It's a pretty orange color, somewhere between 4.0 and 5.0. So definitely need to come up with the pH. And uh, that's what you have to do with coconut coir. As you can see, it interacts a lot. We got about a 4.5 for the pH. So we started at 6.5 pH. It brought it down two points on the pH. Took the uh, parts per million from 720, which was mostly that Pure Blend Pro, and uh, shot it way up to 3,370 parts per million. I don't know if that's residual salt in the coconut coir or what. But uh, definitely have to bring that down to make room for the nutrients or it's going to burn the plants. So that's our video with the coconut choir. Thanks for watching.